Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to help Radio Master Boxer users set up screen options and a model display menu under their model settings. Now here we can detect the telemetry sensors that are coming through from our receiver to our radio and then display whichever um, telemetry sensor we want on this particular screen and then we can we can have a look at them on the front of the radio. So let's switch over to the radio and I will show you how to do this. Now I've already bound my receiver to the transmitter and you can see there we've got the RSSI coming through. Now the first thing we need to do is to discover the telemetry sensors. Now the way we do that is go to the model menu, we go back until we come to the telemetry window. Now we want to click discover new and you'll see all the different sensors come up. I'm going to stop that process now. So now we will be able to use any of these in the display window. So what I'm going to do is we'll use, let's use the transmitter power there. You can see it's on 25 milliwatts. So we're going to try and put that into our menu. So if we go forward, here's the display menus where we set them up. Now if we click onto, on the first screen and we say numbers, we've got numbers or bars we can choose. So I'm going to do numbers. So you click on the, there, enter. Now you can, these, you can have eight sensors on the window. I'm going to click again. And now you'll see all the, it could show us the position of the sticks. But what we're looking for is the telemetry, which should be at the bottom. There you go. So we're going to, we can pick any of the telemetry sensors we want. So I wanted to choose, that's the, Transmitter power. Okay. Now you notice there was a plus and minus there. Now the plus and minus means it will store the highest and lowest. So let's go over here. Let's, let's pick the, let's go to the RSSI. So let's go, right, that would be the current figure. Now if we go to here, let's click again. We go to the RSSI again. Okay, so that was that is going to give us the highest level. And the next one we can put in there RSSI minus. Oops, minus. So that will give us our lowest one in the session that we were flying. So now if we push return and we go out to the display. So if we now hit the telemetry button here. You'll see now all those screens have come up. You can see our power is running at 25 milliwatts and you can see the RSSI the highest and it should record the highest and lowest. Now I don't know if I can cover up the, yeah, by covering up the antenna you can see the RSSI. Okay, you see I picked the wrong one there. That's not the one I need. So let's come back out of here and we're going to go back into the model setting. Let's go back. You see I picked the number two. It should be number one. Let's go back up and plus. There we go. Come back out again and go to that window. Now you can see these two here will stay the same figure. They're going to just give us the lowest and highest RSSI. So I'm going to cover up the antenna on the on the receiver to see what how the effect that has if I open that back up. But that, that, that gives you some idea of what you can do with these uh, telemetry screens. So you'd be able to check and go back and see what the lowest RSSI was, what the highest one is, what the current one is. Now let's come out of there, go back into the options. So we can have two screens. We can have another screen and set up what we like. We can have three, I think it's three, oh, four, four screens in all. Right, so if we go here, so you can put, select any of these options that you want. And let's, let's try that throttle input. We want the throttle input. Let's go like that. Let's return it. Go like that. And you can see it's showing us our throttle position. It gives you some idea of what you can do. Well, I do hope you found that video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.